This box cannot be up for a giveaway. I have to go home with this. So now I drink decaf like a quitter. Mm. Ew, oh, oh no, you have to come cut my arm off right here. And I really hope that the hammer of justice comes down on him. I love you, but what you did was horrible. Ah. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. My name is Jonathan, this is Noodle. <laughs> This is Noodle. He is fully alive. I can guarantee you he has a pulse. Um, yeah, look. And this is Tools of the Trade, the show where we find out exactly what everyday entrepreneurs need to get through their day. I am so excited to share this week's box. It was curated by Scott Shigeoka, who is a man who we are so inspired by because he truly, truly decided to make a big change for himself. He realized that People are, have been more divisive than ever. And he wanted to make himself uncomfortable and he wanted to learn about people and he wanted to write about it. So Scott packed up his car, drove cross country and met people. And he wrote about it and uh, he made art about it. And Scott is just one of those people who um, is truly trying to explore what it is about us that can help um, better our relationships. And it's, it's really incredible that there are people who are willing to sort of take that initiative because I would never do that. So Noodle, who I know you guys can tell is super high energy today, was a little stiff this morning. He was a little stiff little prince and I gave him some of his CBD oil that I use in conjunction with his joint supplements to help alleviate some of the inflammation pain that he sees in his body among his old age. It knocked him out. Totally knocked him out. So he's doing great but I want to make sure that everyone knows that this dog is probably enjoying himself more than any one of you, myself included. Okay, so the first item we've got in the Scott box is these fly metallic shoes. I mean, more than anything, these are a conversation piece, right? If you show up anywhere, whether you are in Los Angeles or, you know, is this a, these are electric shoes? What? They light up. It's got the Christmas tree setting. This is crazy. Noodle, what do you think? Honestly, I think Noodle thinks they're kind of flashy. Picture this. You're in Nebraska. It's dark. You're alone. You don't know anyone around you. Your car broke down on the side of the road, right? What do you do? You turn on your emergency. <laughs> you turn on your emergency shoes and you flag down help. You know who probably could have used these? The Donner Party. They probably could have used more so than these shoes, like a meal plan or, you know, some, like some jerky. But aside from that, I can see. <laughs> so Scott, these are absolutely fabulous. I love these noodle. We'll get you a pair in your size. This box cannot be up for a giveaway. I have to go home with this. My feet are desperate for illumination. Okay, the next item we've got in the box is, it's an Aloha shirt. This shirt has come from um, a local boutique from where he's from. It reminds him of where he came from and he bought it because he also loves to help support small businesses. Scott, in his bio, he told us that his ultimate goal in this was to pop his own bubble. Let me tell you, Scott, me too. You know, Noodle's been trying to pop his bubble since 1931. Aloha. Okay, the next, oh God, did you see that too? Wow, he really just really showed up there. Thank you for that, Noodle. The next item we have in the box is, I was holding onto this a little too long because I don't ever want to let it go. It's a French press. No matter how much passion you have for something, no matter how eager you are to wake up in the morning and to go to it, you are still a human, right? You're still a human and sometimes you need to pick me up. Sometimes it's three o'clock in the afternoon and you're just like, I cannot talk to any people anymore. It's, I'm too tired to light up one of my speakers. I literally need French press immediately. I'm someone who can no longer drink regular coffee uh, because I went to my doctor and I was like, why am I so anxious all the time? And he's like, well, how much coffee do you drink? I was like, plenty. And then I showed him my hand and he was like, yeah, you should stop drinking coffee. You're 
you're white knuckling it. So now I drink decaf like a quitter. I think this is a great item. Any entrepreneur, any human being could use one of these. So the next item we have in the box is, it's actually three items, I'm gonna pull this out right now. They are books. They are books. So one thing we can be certain about Scott is that he's literate. And the same cannot be said about my son. You're so smart. He gave me paw. You're so sweet. Ew. Oh. Oh no. You have to come cut my arm off right here. Noodle, that was gross, but you deserve one of these because you're so precious. Wow. Yes. Oh my god. Anyway, books. One of the things that Scott let us know is that he is always reading, and he's always reading books that help to better himself. And these are his current books that he's reading. Uh, the Words of My Father, Get Together, and The Breakthrough Speaker, How to Build a Public Speaking Career. It's always important to continue to better yourself. And Scott, as someone who is constantly trying to learn about other people, how incredible that he's also taking that time to learn about himself. And I'm actually horrified that I never successfully taught you to read. He did master French, though. But the only way to do that is you have to hire a Parisian nanny when they're young. The final item we have in Scott Bucks is, it's an annual parks pass. So this, this makes absolute perfect sense. Um, yeah. This is an absolutely incredible thing for anyone to have, um, but specifically someone who is constantly traveling and is meeting people and wanting to explore um, new locations. And one of the big things that Scott uh, says in his mission is that he wants to find the things that connects people. He realizes that there's a huge disconnect in our culture right now, and there are certain things that we really can all agree on, right? And I really do think that parks are one of them, and you'll never see them. So the problem is Noodle does like parks, but he has been banned from Bryce, Zion, and Yellowstone for life. I will tell you that he was justly um, accused, and I really hope that the hammer of justice comes down on him. I love you, but what you did was horrible. But he does love public parks. He just can't ever go to them. He tagged nudes was here. Send nudes. Yeah, oh, you little perv. He walked right over to Yellowstone. He went right up to Old Faithful, and he goes, send nudes. Noodle. Okay, that's it. That's a box. That's a Scott box. I'm so inspired by him. As someone who is not a big traveler, and I do get scared to meet new people and go to new places, I am in awe of him and his ability to genuinely put everything he owns in a car and just travel and meet people. I think this box really spoke to who he is as a person and who he's also hoping to be. So if you are interested in seeing more videos just like this, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications every time a new video just like this goes live. So for Noodle, for myself, and for these, which I'm realizing have unending utility way outside of putting them on your feet, thank you so much for watching. And I can't wait to see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe on YouTube if you did like watching this video and be sure to tune in next time.